So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in registry editor. Click on it and then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you can follow everything I'll be doing up here. So first you wanna expand HK local machine. Then you want to expand software. Then you want to expand Microsoft. Now we're gonna scroll down and expand Windows NT. We're gonna scroll down, expand Windows NT. I'm gonna make this bigger. And now you wanna expand current version. And now we're gonna click on software protection platform. We're gonna scroll down and then click on software protection platform. And now this will appear on the right side. Again, you can follow all this up here. And then once you're on this, you wanna find skip rearm. Double click on it. And now this will come up. Now in the value data box, you wanna type in the number one. So if there's any other number other than one, you want to delete it and then type in the number one. Make sure you have the number one in this box and then click on okay. And then once you've done that, for the second step, we're gonna stay on registry editor However, we want to go back to HK Local Machine. So we're just going to close out all of this. Close out all of this. Just close out all of this right here. Now you want to come back into HK Local Machine. Again, you can now follow this new path, which is going to be up here. So now, after we expand HK Local Machine, we're now going to expand System this time. And now after you expand System, we're now going to expand Setup. And you now want to expand Status. And you now want to click on sysprep status folder. Click on this, and now this will appear on the right side. And then once we're here, you should be having generalization state. Double click on this. Make sure that in the value data box, it has the number seven in it. And then click on OK. And then once you've done that, you now want to right click anywhere, and then click on new, and then click on dword for to be value. You want to call this cleanup state. Use the same capitals and lowercase as I did with no space, and then click on enter. If you already had cleanup state though, then you could just leave it. You don't need to create a new one. But in my case, I did not have cleanup state, so I had to create a new one. And then once you have cleanup state, you now want to double click on it. Change the value data in the box right here to two. Make sure you have the number two in this box and then click on okay. And now for the next step, you're gonna head over to search and type in CMD. Then you're gonna run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once you run this, you're gonna type in MSD TC space dash uninstall. Click on enter. And now we're gonna type in MSD TC space dash install. Click on enter again. Now you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.